Ever wondered how the AFLW draft is transforming from a local event to having a nationwide reach? Well, that's exactly what we're here to explore today. It all started with the AFLW draft evolving into a more national character, despite the local connections at the very top of the order. This year for the first time, each of the players selected in the top four chose to enter the national pool, meaning they were open to be picked by any club based anywhere in Australia. This was a significant shift from previous years. Take, for example, Christy Lee Weston Turner, the athletic forward who was selected as the first pick in the AFLW draft by the Western Bulldogs. She mentioned that the idea of a fresh start at any club across the country seemed cool and amazing. However, she was grateful to be picked up by a club she'd supported her whole life, a sentiment that resonated deeply with her and her family. Weston Turner's story reflects the changing landscape of the AFLW draft. More players are now considering crossing borders, attracted by the prospect of a fresh start and a new challenge. Jessica Wrench, a Victorian defender, was selected second by the West Coast Eagles and is one of those who have chosen to venture interstate. While the draft rules don't force players to move interstate and the competition remains semi-professional, change is on the horizon. The geographic restrictions are expected to ease within a few years, suggesting a shift towards a fully national draft. This sentiment was echoed by Giants coach Cam Bernasconi, who believes that a fully national draft could be introduced even sooner. Julia Chiera, head of AFLW for the AFL Players Association, said the state-based draft gives players an element of choice when balancing their lives as footballers with their demands outside of the sport. The organization plans to continue working with the AFL to review the current system, ensuring it's fit for purpose going forward. In summary, the AFLW draft is gradually transforming from a local event into a nationwide spectacle, with more players willing to cross borders and join clubs outside their home states. This shift towards a nationwide AFLW draft reflects the growth of the sport and the increasing opportunities for female players across Australia. The future indeed looks promising for the AFLW draft, and we can only expect more exciting developments in the years to come.